Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel, All Things Accounting. Today, we are going to be exploring all about debits versus credits. So stay tuned and we will go through this together. So, debits versus credits. So basically, it's, it's a means for accountants to try to keep record and keep track of the way we record for different things. So if we look at this, we can go back and look at what was double entry accounting. What was the purpose of double entry accounting? So double entry accounting. So really, when we look at that, it's a way where every transaction, every transaction is recorded with at least two, okay, so a double. So there's always two different accounts. So we may ask, why is that the purpose? Because this method really helps to uh, ensure or prevent errors from, uh, from occurring because everything has to balance out. All the debits has to equal to all the credits. Again, going back to the accounting equation where assets is equal to liabilities plus equity. So in, in double entry accounting, we have journal entries where uh, you'll be debiting one account and crediting another account. Okay, so uh, that's that's the purpose of double entry accounting. Okay, okay. So if we want to look at this, we can say that the sum of all debit entries must must equal to the sum of of all credit entries okay so that's one way to ensure that we're always uh, kept in in, uh, in check now if we want to further expand on this let's look at again the uh, the accounting equation where it was assets is equal to liabilities plus equity so here, let's just make a little chart, okay? So if we say debits, debits, credits, okay? Let's go through that way. And we say that there's, we have assets, then we have also liabilities. We also have equity. Those are the components on the balance sheet. Let's look at revenue as well, revenue. And lastly, expenses. So we said that assets, assets would be recorded by debits normally, which is on the left side of a T account. So debits would increase assets, the value of assets. Credits conversely would decrease it. Liabilities is on the other side Credits would increase liabilities, but yet debits would reduce it. Liabilities and equity are similar in the sense that, again, credits would increase equity and debits would decrease equity. Okay, Revenue or expenses on the income statement there, you would increase revenue by increasing credits and reduce it by debits. And lastly, expenses... Expenses are increased by debits and reduced by credits. Okay, so these are the fundamental, uh, fundamental key aspects of accounting where you have to know the, the basics and always keep in mind and not try to get confused. Well, it does uh, liabilities increase with uh, debits or was it credits? So 
this is something that you really have to understand in order to move on to more complex things uh, or even move on to the next phase, which would be uh, journal entries. Okay? That's where it comes into, uh, into play and becomes very, very important to always be sure that we know this part very well. Okay? So that's just a quick uh, debit versus credit uh, overview of things. So I hope this tutorial helps you out. Please subscribe to this channel and remember to click that bell notification icon because I'll be posting a lot more tutorials and please click the like button. So until next time, take care.